Hey guys, thank you so much for the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the standby mode is not working for you on iOS 17. Now, there's a couple things about standby mode that you need to know, and we're going to walk you through it, and then some troubleshooting steps if you're still having issues getting standby mode to be on on your iPhone. So let's get started. The first thing is, before you can get started, is make sure that your phone is updated to iOS 17. If not, simply go into your settings here, and then you're going to go to general, software update and there's update available to say download and install and you want to install the update the update was just recently released so it has only been a couple of days some regions are still getting the update but you should be able to see your update you can update it through the internet over the air or you can use itunes as well we discussed that in another video if you want to check that out the other thing is ios 17 has to be compatible on your device so iphone sc second generation or later gets ios 17 or the iphone 10 series or later except for the iPhone 10 itself so if you have iPhone 10 or 10s 10s max and anything newer than that will get the iOS 17 update anything older than will not get iOS 17 and you'll not be able to use standby mode so that's important to note now the other thing between the standby mode is that the version of iPhone that you have so if you have iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max or anything newer like the 15 series the standby mode will always be on when you're plugged in to a charger and the phone is horizontal now if you have iPhone regular 14 or anything older like the iPhone 12 series or the 13 series or the 11 series standby mode only works up to 20 seconds and then you'll have to tap the screen to work what i mean is that so i have a standby mode on this is iphone let's say 12 pro right and it doesn't have the always on feature so this display will show but for up to 20 seconds you need to have a phone that has always on in order for the display to be on all the time and when it goes off you have to click on the button to have it on so iPhone 14 Pro here that I have, for example, right? If I go to standby mode, you'll see there's an always on feature, which is turned on, which means it'll always have standby mode when it's plugged in. But here on the 12 Pro, because it doesn't have always on feature, it turns off and I have to tap the screen after 20 seconds for another 20 seconds or so, which kind of is annoying, but that's the way it's working. So you'll see here the difference between the standby mode setting between these two devices is that under the settings here in the standby mode you'll see here the always on isn't available which means it will kind of shut off or not show you after 20 seconds but with the always on on it'll always be there and the other thing about the standby mode is that if you haven't turned it on or have turned it off for some reason you can go here into the setting and make sure it's on like this exact way and it's a new rollout feature and it should be on but for some reason if it's not on you want to troubleshoot that now other things to troubleshoot if you're stand my mode it still isn't working for you and you have a device here on iOS 17 is to go ahead and if you have low power mode on your phone so under your battery you need to turn low power mode on if you have that mode on some functionalities will be limited like the stand my mode so you want to turn that off also other things I've seen with some users that if you have the portrait lock on so this is on it won't be able to rotate and the standby mode won't work so you need to turn that off as well in order to uh, get standby mode to work properly now the other thing you want to check about this is that the charging cable you're using now you can use the wireless charger and it will still work well you need to make sure the charger that you have is actually charging it's a lightning cable basically a cable that's uh, one that's original if you can some cables we've seen that it doesn't pick it up or the charging is bad and it doesn't work again so make sure you're checking your phone is charging during the whole process now also other things you want to do if you're still having issues is that you want to go ahead and force restart your phone. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down. So volume up, volume down one after another. And then you'll hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. And then you'll see the Apple logo and you let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down. And then I hold the side button just like that until the screen goes completely black. And then we'll wait for it to go completely black here and then as you can see here it went completely black i'm going to wait for the apple logo i let go of that button and it's a good way to shut this is a good way to shut down the phone completely and reload the code so if it's a software related issue impacting standby mode from not working since you updated it will fix that issue and it's really a good thing to do after you do major software update because it shuts down the phone 
and then reloads the code so any kind of bug or issue going on will be fixed with this and performance of your phone will be increased now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be there so you don't have to worry about that now if you're still having an issue the next thing to check is that as up, more updates are being out see if there's an update for iOS uh, 17 or later so check for a new update you go into settings general software update assume because it's the dot zero version so far there's going to be more updates to address some device issues that are having so look for a new update and you'll see maybe a new update is out you'll go ahead and download and install the new update as well now one final thing if you really really don't get, can't get it to work is go ahead and retry reset all of your settings here so in your settings here you're going to go to general all the down here is transfer reset iPhone and then we'll click on the first option for reset not the second one and then we'll do this option to reset all settings and what that will do is reset things like your network related settings so if you had saved Wi-Fi password Bluetooth connected devices will get reset any keyboard dictionary will get reset any home screen layout and any location and privacy setting just the settings themselves none of your personal data like photos videos apps will get deleted they'll all be there and this is necessary if you really can get standby mode to work. And that's it for this video. And I hope now your standby mode on your phone is working. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.